another story which added a new dimension to the constitution revolution of Iran was the story of a young American who came to Tabriz in the beginning of the movement. After observing the fights between the revolutionaries and the government, he actively took the side of the freedom fighters and lost his life in that way. Howard Baskerville was born in 1885 in the state of Minnesota. He was graduated from Princeton University and went to Iran to teach English in American Memorial School in Tabriz. He had some military training in America and because of that he not only taught his students English but also he familiarized them with organized arm fights. He was able to train a group of 300 armed men. Even though American consulate in Tabriz had warned him that he was not allowed to intervene in the internal affair of the host country, but he pursued what he was doing. On April 19, 1909, the day of the final battle, Howard Baskerville and his fighters were ready in their positions even before the sunrise. The rest of the freedom fighters were also positioned on the same side of an open field and on the other side were the government forces with the help of the Kazakhs. Eyewitnesses to the battle said Baskerville and his men approached the enemy by crawling in the weeds. At the moment that he thought he was close enough to them, order his men to shoot and fire the first shot himself. But Kazakhs were anticipating them too and started to fire back fiercely and Howard Baskerville got shot by one of the first bullets. A fierce bull battle started and continued for hours non-stop in a way that none of Baskerville's men could reach him for hours. Finally, when his men got to him, they realized he was already dead. A bullet had gone through his chest. They carried his body to the city. On that day, the battle was going on till evening. Then, Russian and British consulates decided to try to establish a ceasefire. They proposed the terms of the ceasefire to both sides. Satar Khan agreed on the terms of the ceasefire as he was watching the battle through his binocular and ordered his fighters to stop shooting. All of a sudden, both sides stop shooting at each other and the battlefield became silent from the gunshots and finally the injured could be helped. The day after the big battle Tabriz was busy burying the martyrs. There were many to bury but one funeral was standing out from the rest and it was the one for Howard Baskerville. People carried his casket on their shoulders to the Armenian cemetery. A few times on the way, they stopped and opened the casket so people could say a farewell to the young American. Baron Sadrat, who was one of the Armenian freedom fighters, in his speech at the funeral said, Now I have no doubt the Constitution Revolution will win because the blood of this Brave young man has given it more color than ever. Then he turned to
to the people to comfort them and said, I know your bodies are tired and your stomachs are empty, but instead you are blessed with freedom now. Tabriz Council was trying to raise some money and send it to his mother in America. But the American consulate in Tabriz thanked them and let them know it was not necessary. But people of Tabriz wanted to show their gratitude to his family. They wove his portrait on a fine rug and sent it to his mother along with his rifle. On his rifle they engraved this, killed for our freedom. <laughs>